Hey, what's up guys? Victor from Cyborg for Life. Hope you all been well lately. Now, today I want to do a brief compare of the pros and cons of the Precise and Stride internal lengthening nails because I've been getting a lot of questions lately of people asking me, should they wait for the Stride nail to come back to the market or should they get lengthening done with the Precise nail or some other fully weight bearing internal lengthening device? So we're going to do a brief compare and contrast of each to help everyone make an educated decision. So without going too deep into the specification of each nail, just know that the Precise and Stride has a small, medium, and large uh, in terms of the size of the diameter of the nail, which dictate its relevant weight bearing capacity. Now the precise line of internal lengthening nails have been around for a decade, okay? Ever since 2011 when version 1 was released, which is the one that I had, and it's evolved over time all the way to the precise 2.2, which is the current version. And it can lengthen up to 8 centimeters. It's made out of titanium, which is pretty durable, although they're not fully weight bearing like their big bad brother, the Stride Nail. Now the Stride Nail is made up of a component called BioDur, which is a stainless steel metal alloy, which is nearly four times as strong in terms of weight bearing capacity than its little brother, the Precise. Now this means that the largest Precise 2, if it can handle up to 70 pounds per nail, the largest Stride Nail can handle up to 250 pounds per nail. Okay, that means that it's fully weight bearing, which is really beneficial for adults who are undergoing bilateral limb lengthening, as in stature lengthening. Okay, having a fully weight bearing nail has all kinds of other benefits. It, it can improve mobility, it can reduce muscle stiffness, it can you know reduce the need of a caretaker so they don't have to do every little task for you. It can speed up healing of the bones. It can help you increase your muscle strength to help get you back to normal life sooner and get a normal walk. It does all of these things, so you can see the benefits of a fully weight bearing nail. If you haven't seen the onslaught of interviews that. I did with some limb lengthening surgeons from the US about the stride nail taking a bit of a sabbatical, it basically is off the market for the time being. So what does this mean? It means that this precise nail is the only option for those who want to get lengthening done if it's available with their select surgeon. Time for a little face off between the precise and stride nail. So the pros of the precise nail are that it's been around longer, it has a proven track record of success, also it's still available with some select surgeons, and it has the same lengthening capacity as a stride nail of up to eight centimeters, which is just over that three inch mark, and it's cheaper, as in thousands of dollars cheaper, okay? Now the cons of the precise nail are that it's not fully weight bearing. But that's about it. Now the pros of the stride nail are that although it's a little bit more expensive and it's only a few years old, it is fully weight bearing and it can reach that full eight centimeters of length. Now, the cons of the stride are that it's currently not available, okay? And there's no definite date of return, which means that patients are gonna have to wait until it's re-release. So what should you do? Get lengthening done sooner with another internal lengthening nail, like the precise, or wait for the stride to come back? Well, to be honest with you, it's hard to beat a fully weight bearing nail like the stride nail, and it would be my gut advice to tell you to wait for that if you can afford it. But if time is of the essence, and you're trying to take advantage of the current pandemic as some workplaces are still reopening, well then the Precise could be a really good option for you. But you will have to accommodate for the lack of full weight bearing capacity, and you may have to hire a assistant to help you with some tasks, and you're gonna have to be really cautious with your movements to avoid a bone injury. Now, before we go, what about other nails? What about one that people have always asked me about, and that's the Betts bone? Well, the good thing is, is that this nail is fully weight bearing. However, the lengthening mechanism is a little bit different than the magnetic nails that we talked about. It it uses like this twist to click method and it can be a little bit of a learning curve for some patients. So regardless of the lengthening device that you choose, just make sure that you have a reasonable lengthening goal in mind, no matter how much lengthening capacity that device has. Make sure that you are well versed in how to properly work the device to lengthen your bones correctly. Make sure that you do your physical therapy and rehab and do your part so that you can get through the procedure as smoothly as possible. And finally, make sure that you trust your surgeon and their process regardless of the techniques that they use or don't use. And make sure that you reach out and ask for help if you're not sure about something or if you think that you develop some symptoms that you're not, you know, you don't think there are gonna be a good sign for things to come. So you can avoid things like permanent problems or complications that could possibly cost you an arm or a leg. And that's pun intended. <laughs> All right guys, so I hope you got some insight into how to make a decision for your lengthening plans going forward with the current devices on the market. And if you haven't gotten your surgery yet, which device are you gonna get done with? Are you gonna get it done with an internal lengthening nail, external device? Go ahead and comment down below. And do me a favor, as always, go ahead and hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe. And until next time, this is Victor from Cyborg for Life, signing out. Peace.